Welcome back, students. The lesson today is Unit One, the ancient Mayans. Lesson six. In this lesson, we are going to listen and understand a sequence of events. We also ask and answer questions about the events in pictures. First, we will review past simple tense. I have a game for you. You will read the sentence, and you choose the right option. Are you ready? Let's go. What's in the answer here? The answer is yesterday. Chen did homework. Next. What did you choose? The answer is it's rained last yesterday morning. Good. John, with his toy plan yesterday. What is the best answer? The answer is John played with his toy plan yesterday. Well done. What about this one? The best answer is, my dad worked for three hours last night. Well done. Now let's move on the main point today. Listening. Now we are going to hear the boy talk about his yesterday, and you will listen and write the numbers. We have four pictures: A, B, C, and D. And number one is an example. Okay, let's go. Listening eleven. Listen and write the numbers. One. Hello, Dewey. How are you? Not great. I had a terrible day yesterday. Why? Well, I had a math lesson in the morning. The questions were very difficult, and I didn't know the answers. Oh dear. Two. I had an English lesson in the afternoon. That's good. You like English. Yes, but I didn't have my homework. So the teacher was angry. Oh no. Three. I played basketball with my friends in the park after school. That's nice. It was nice, but then it started to rain. I was very wet and very cold. Oh no. Four. I had lots of difficult homework yesterday too. Oh no! So I worked for three hours. Poor Dwee. Have you done? Let's check. Are you correct? Very good. It's time for speaking skill. Next. You will look at the picture and say using the words in the box. For example, the boy plays basketball. Is picture A. Now it's your turn. Look at picture A again. How's the weather? It started to rain. It's picture A. Now we look at picture B. What will you say? The boy had an English lesson. It's picture B. And the boy didn't have his homework. It's picture B. Very good. 
Are you ready for the next one? Let's check. The boy had a math lesson. It's picture C. The boy didn't know the answers. It's picture C. Let's take a look at picture D. What did you say? The answer is the boy had difficult homework. Is picture D. And the boy walked for three hours. Is picture D. Excellent. Let's move on the next part. The right thing about me. Remember, in each paragraph, there is one topic. What will we do? In this exercise, you will match the topic to the paragraphs and the line things that are different from you. Now answer my questions. How many paragraphs are there? Yes, there are three. So we have three topics. Number one. The topic is house. Number two is food. Number three is Topic is children's. Now look at paragraph A. And look at the keywords in red color food. In my country, Vietnam, a lot of food is made from rice, meat, and vegetables. Food is important, especially as vegetables like tea. We also have raised street food. Paragraph A, the topic is food. Now you continue with the next paragraph, number two and three. Have you done? Let's check paragraph B. Houses in Vietnam are often tall and thin and sometimes brightly colored. A normal house might have two floors. Children, parents, and grandparents often live in the same house. In cities, more and more people are living in apartments. So we have the key words, houses. What is the topic? Paragraph B, what is the topic? The answer is house. Yes, house. The next paragraph C. Children in Vietnam normally go to school from early in the morning. There are some schools that have two school days in one day. Some children study in the morning, and then other children study in the afternoon. So the topic is children. Very good. It's time for us to do exercise. Open your workbook, page 13. Part 1. You draw this symbol at the start of its new paragraph. Okay? Now let's go.
Have you finished? Let's check the answers. Are you correct? Well done. We continue with part two. Right. You look at the pictures using the words in the box and fill in the blank. We have one minute to do this. Okay, let's go. Have you done? Let's check the answers. Very good. You study very well today. Remember to listen to track 11 again. Drives about homes and families. That's enough for today. See you later. Bye.